ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another GNW event, but it's not just a regular event. Welcome to another GNW, welcome everybody to GNW Royal, I mean over the limit. We are here tonight for five tremendous matches. This event right here, this it's gonna be a huge one because in the main event you will see Sean Navy Seymour McCarthy going up against Alice Bishop, the current GNW World Champion, in a no host bar match for that Aero kind of Championship. Also, you will see the women's championship inside of a steel cage as Tiffany Rogers goes one on one against Shannon Gomez, but let's not waste any more time here, folks. These uh, matches right here were from the pre-show. You missed it or did not see it right here. We just saw Stan Holmes defeat Knockouts leader Michael Basham. Then we saw the youngest Intercontinental Champion be crowned as Jackson Young defeated the former Intercontinental Champion Eric Graham. And we just saw a hellacious and then a huge four-way tag team matchup as we have new tag team champions in the heart in the Mega Bucks getting back the tag titles. So let's not waste any more time here, folks. Up first in this pay-per-view is the triple threat match for the GNW Internet Championship. Akane Yamamoto has been on a roll lately. Ever since he became the GNW Intercontinental Champion. And at the same time, we've seen multiple times that we've seen, we've seen multiple times that the GNW Championship have been defended a couple times, but now... But now, Yamamoto has a bit of a challenge as he's going up against two other competitors in Marcus, in Malcolm Candy and Arnold Rivera. Two new challengers that we have that we have seen on and off here in GNW. And with Akane Yamamoto's Internet Championship on the line, his reign might be over. But the question is, are we going to be able to see a new internet champion in either, in either Malcolm Kennedy or Arnold Rivera? Or will we see a, or will we see the dragon Akane Yamamoto retain his throne and keep that internet championship around his waist? Well, let's not waste any more time here, folks. Let's get this matchup started. And you folks haven't seen the GNW pre-show. We are live here in Florence, Italy. Huge crowd, huge crowd here in the GNW arena here in Florence, Italy. But now, introducing first is one of the challengers in Arnold Rivera. There he is, folks. Arnold Rivera. The huge powerhouse from California so I had to remember for a second it's been a while but at the same time the young man from California from Venice Beach California and now with Rivera he has a bit of a challenge right here as he will be having a huge opportunity here in GNW as he will be one of the challengers in this huge triple threat matchup as we will be seeing him in action. The question is, he's been a bit on, the, on and off uh, show as a lay, but at the same time with with Rivera right here, he's a bit of a uh, on and off here. He's been on and off here in GNW, but at the same time, he's been on a tremendous roll on trying to get that internet championship. But now, here comes the other challenger 
for that internet championship, and that is this man right here, Malcolm Kennedy. And with Malcolm Kennedy right here, he too has also been a bit on an on and off roll here as of late. But at the same time for Kennedy right here, he's had a tremendous career before he even came here in GNW. He, he first made his debut at the start of the, of the season right here, which was the GNW Royal Rumble. But now, Kennedy has a huge opportunity right here. In this matchup, in this triple threat matchup right here. But now we await the arrival of the GNW Internet Champion. And here he comes, folks. There he is, Akane Yamamoto, the current Intercontinental Champion. And with Yamamoto, he's been on a roll lately. He's been on a roll lately. And at the same time, he has been here. This whole time, this man right here has been on a bit of a roll here as a late. This man has been on a dominant win streak right here. This man right here. This man right here has been on a dominant roll here as a late, but at the same time, for Akane Yamamoto, he right here has had a dominant win streak here as the internet champion the question is are we going to be able to actually see a win here for Akane Yamamoto here tonight or else we will be seeing a new internet champion in either Malcolm Kennedy or Arnold Rivera And this matchup is on the way as now Arnold Rivera looks like he's going for Akane Yamamoto. And now Malcolm Kennedy trying to go after Arnold Rivera. A bit of a huge takedown right here. Trying to go for a takedown right here. And at the same time for, for Malcolm Kennedy right here. He's been on a roll. And now a bit of a work right here, trying to take down Malcolm Kennedy right here. But now, but now Yamamoto, huge suplex right there. And now we look right now. Now Akane Yamamoto going on a huge takedown right here. Oh, and he tried. Oh, and Yamamoto was dragging Kennedy too towards the middle of the ring, but apparently Rivera didn't even want that to happen. And now. And now for Kennedy, heading to the outside right now, take down by Yamamoto. And what is Yamamoto thinking right here? What is Yamamoto even thinking right here? Huge. Oh, I think he's going for a bit of an elbow, but apparently Kennedy missed right here. And now. And now Rivera. Huge clothesline right there, take down. And now Rivera. Huge sidewalk slam to Yamamoto. Now focusing his attention on Malcolm Kennedy with those huge stomps. And now going for the pad one. And no one count. And now Rivera, what could you be thinking right here? Throwing Kennedy into the corner. And Kennedy reversing right here. Tried to go for a bit elbow. Yamamoto's back in the ring. And now huge... Suplex going for a pin right now. Going for a huge pin. And now Kennedy. A bit of on a roll right here. Kennedy is on a roll. And now with Kennedy. 
trying to get back in it right here, but no, not enough. Rivera back up to his feet. And now, and now Rivera dragging Yamamoto away from the ropes, going for the pin on Yamamoto in that one count right there. And now Rivera just clomping away here at Yamamoto. And now, and now Yamamoto tried to go for the huge dragon DDT, but now, now Malcolm Kennedy makes sure not that, trying to make sure that doesn't happen. And now Kennedy trying to get back in right here. And now Yamamoto, both Yamamoto and Kennedy are huge in those vicious strikes right here. And what could Malcolm Kennedy thinking right here? He's this dragon. Oh, and a huge power bomb into the corner as we, and now. For Kennedy going for the pin right now, one and no one count is able to been applied right there. And now with Arn Rivera, he gets back in the ring right here. And now battling Kennedy right here tried to go for you jumping close but no Rivera taking down Kennedy. And now Rivera just staring into the body of Malcolm Kennedy and now Huge Samoan drop to Akane Yamamoto. Huge Samoan drop right there. As now Yamamoto is taken to the outside. Rolling to the death of breather right there. And now Rivera. Trying to pick up Kennedy. But apparently not much. And now what could Malcolm Kennedy be thinking right here. Huge move right there. Huge slam connecting right there. Going for the pin on Arnold Rivera. One. Are we going to be able to see a new champion? Two. And a kick out right there by Arnold Rivera. Both. All three competitors are showing great tenacity here as of late. And now. Yamamoto throwing into the corner. And now Yamamoto. He could be calling for an end right here. Huge drop kick. Knocking Kennedy into the corner. And now, Tossin, Yamamoto, now Yamamoto, what can you be thinking here? The Dragon, did he? No! Arnold Rivera, being able to stop him, being able to stop Yamamoto to make sure that Dragon DDT doesn't connect. And now, Rivera going for the pin right now. One, two, and no, a two count. Kennedy is able to kick out right there. And now everybody's going on the outside. As now Rivera just tossed Kennedy to the outside. And now sidewalk slam connected on that mat. And folks, this is no, this is not a Falls County anywhere match. This is just normal triple threat rules. This is just normal rules right here. And now Rivera and Yamamoto fighting on the outside. Kennedy's knocked down. Another sidewalk slam to Yamamoto. Oh, wait a minute, I'm seeing movement by Kennedy right there. And no, Rivera saw the movement and he's taking him down. And now, Kennedy tossing. Rivera to the outside. Oh, and a huge, and just throwing him into the steps right there, actually. And now Kennedy is back in the ring, and now Yamamoto is back in the ring. Irish whip, what could Yamamoto be thinking right here? Trying to go for a huge knee. Kennedy reverse, huge clothesline connecting. And there goes Yamamoto once again, getting a breather. And now Kennedy is the only one on the outside. Now Yamamoto is back in the ring, and there they go. And now, Yamamoto throwing Kennedy back into the ring. And now, Yamamoto with a huge strength. The Dragon's knockout right there. The Dragon's tail right there. And now, Rivera making sure the fight doesn't end right here. As now, Rivera and Yamamoto fighting. Huge Enziguri connecting. Knocking out. Rivera to the outside. And now Yamamoto going for the pin. One. 
to to retain no Candy is able to kick out and now Yamamoto oh and a huge back knee into the back right there going for the pin once again one two and no Candy is able to kick out Now huge, now picking him up, going for that huge dragon tail again. Huge, going for the pin right now. One and no, Rivera making the save right here, getting Yamamoto huge knee into the skull, going for the pin, stealing the pinfall right here. One, two, and no, no, Kennedy is able to kick out, and Kennedy right now. Huge neck breaker connecting. Could this be it right here? Going for the pair. One, two, and Kennedy has done it. Malcolm Kennedy has won the internet championship, ending the reign of Akane Yamamoto. Huge moves remain in this matchup but in the end of the day we have a new internet champion in Malcolm Kennedy but you see right there folks this man right here is now the new internet champion and I'm not sure what to think about this right here because now with Yamamoto out of the internet title picture. What could be next for Kennedy and that internet championship? That is one question that we have to find out in a future time. But up next, folks, up next is a battle of dream match that we've been, that is waiting for GNW fans on their edge of the seats. As we are seeing one of the two best competitors in GNW history. As we are going to be seeing Ace Hale going one on one with Double A Adrian Andrews. These two have had it. These two have had one heck of a fight. These two have had a bit of a heat on each other ever since the Land Massacre, if I can remember. I believe it was GNW Land Massacre, if I can remember. Yep, it was the GNW one I only money in the bank. These two went back at, at, at ever since then. After then, it was a huge matchup. This matchup was made by the producers in the back. Oh, actually, I came up with the matchup at the same time with these two. This is going to be one heck of a match you do not want to miss. But up next, but here it comes. Introducing first is the big man, the huge Jersey Cyborg, as we like to call him, in Ace Hill. Ace Hill right here. Is going to be facing up one of the toughest competitors that we have seen to date. In which actually has been here in GNW history. In which will be Adrian Andrews. We haven't seen Adrian Andrews in quite some time. But now with that. You know Andrews has to wonder what he has to do to defeat this man right here. And at the same time. This man right here. The big man from Jersey City, 300 pounds. The Jersey cyborg, Ace Hale right here, said that he's here in the season to not just to show on what they're made of, but to show on what this cyborg can do. And with, and with Ace Hale right here, this man is... But this man said before the matchup, he said before, he said before the match, this matchup is even going to happen. He said that 
hey, Adrian Andrews, he's watched Adrian Andrews in the past. He knows on what he's capable of, but at the same time, he's not going to be sorry for what he does to him in the middle of that ring. We've seen these two go in ladder matches, triple threats, a bit of attack action right here, but now it's time for this huge matchup. As now here comes an absolute ultimate underdog here in GNW, Double A Adrian Andrews. Would have asked if Max would have asked would will have to Max will have to ask Max. I cannot speak because this is so tremendous. Because we're seeing two of the best competitors here in GNW go at it at it with each other, and this right here is a dream match GNW has been wanting to see. And this matchup right here. It's going to be one heck of a fight because it's the Jersey Cyborg going up against the ultimate underdog in GNW. And now, this matchup is on the way. Colin Elbow tie up. Adrian Andrews working on the arm right here. We'll have to ask Master Stream and Zach, but I know Zach has no Wi Fi since his brother. <laughs> uh, kind of, you could say that. You can say that, Ross. <laughs> uh, wait, I seen a Kevin Owens poster. Is that a Sock Slam spoiler? What? Uh, no, I think it's just a. No, it's just a sign that I just had to put in for one of the superstars. If I'm gonna be completely honest. But now, Hale trying to get back in it right here. The folks are just joining us right now. Welcome to the GNW pay-per-view over the limit. You're now seeing Ace Hill go one-on-one -on -one with Adrian Andrews. And with Adrian Andrews, we haven't seen him in quite some time in, since season one. After that, we haven't seen him since the whole Money in the Bank situation. Now, with Andrews right here. Working on the leg of Ace Hill right here. And now, working on the head of Hill. And now, huge work right there. And now, I think Adrian Andrews, the chapter right here is to work on the head right here. Now it's had one count. This is a big matchup that folks have been wanting to see. This right here, folks, is one matchup that you folks do not want to miss. This one is a matchup for the ages when we see... One of the GNW originals go up against with a new upcomer. The this is just one matchup that I've been wanting to see for quite some time here in GNW. And a huge work in the knees of Adrian Andrews. That's apparently what had to cause Adrian Andrews to be out of action for a while, folks, because with. Adrian Andrews, I said that he hasn't appeared in quite some time, but that was because he had a leg injury. And I think that's what Hale's objective right here is he smacks his head into the side of the ring pole. Out the ring right there. And now referee is counting. It's already at count of three right now. As both men are fighting on the outside. Huge body punches and huge uppercut right there. And with referees at count six, throwing Adrian Andrews back into the ring. Referees at count seven, both men are back in the ring right now. And now Hale going for that huge pile driver, the jersey driver. Going for that huge jersey driver right there. This is it. Power bomb. 
you have to like his chances here. That's one of those moves where you check your extremity. And now, going for a pin. No, he was eliminated. And now, Adrian Andrews trying to get back in it right here. As now, Andrews is thrown. He's throwing him into the corner. But now, vintage Adrian Andrews going for that huge springboard arm drag. That huge arm drag connected right there. Going for the pin right now. And no, one count connected. And now it looks like Adrian Andrews is going for right here in the huge Philly trouble right that trouble in Philly. The double leg kick right there. Going for the pin. One, two, and three. Adrian Andrews picks up the victory here in this matchup. And now we've got some highlights from the last one And now huge victory by this is a huge advantage right here. This is a huge momentum right here. Defeating the huge Jersey Cyborg. Adrian Andrews picks up the victory. He's overwhelmed by this victory right here. Huge victory by this man right here. Adrian Andrews saying that he was the one that's defeated the Cyborg. Huge victory that the folks here in... Italy just witnessed but now up next ladies and gentlemen is the steel cage matchup that probably the GNW women's locker room has been waiting to see right here as we're going to see Shannon Gomez go one on one with Tiffany Rogers uh, representing the ministry these two women have been playing mind actually Tiffany Rogers have been playing some mind games to Shannon Gomez lately but at the same time Gomez is saying that she's been ready for Tiffany Rogers and been ready to capture that GNW Women's Championship and get back on top of the mountain. Because if I can remember correctly, Gomez was the former Women's Champion until she took it. Until Tiffany took it from her in a ladder match of the last season. So with Tiffany Ro so with Tiffany Rogers, she's got a bit of a challenge right here in Sharon Gomez. But apparently with Tiffany, she said that, that instead of... A normal matchup. She wants to fight her. She wants to face Shannon inside of a steel cage. Shannon accepted, and that's what led to this steel cage matchup. But the question is with. But the question is with. Shane Gomez, will she be able to capture that women's championship or will she be able to or will Tiffany Rogers be able to retain that championship? The following contest is a steel cage match and it's for the Global National Wrestling Women's Championship. And like I said, folks. Shannon Gomez right here. This woman right here. This woman has been wanting her GNW Women's Championship back around her waist. And now she gets that opportunity in Tiffany Rogers. But inside of a steel cage. And you see right here, Gomez is ready for that. You know, this matchup to happen. She's ready for this matchup right here. And now, and now you see right there, she just, see right there, I don't know why I skipped it, but at the same time, a bit of a nice guy right here, but now here comes the toughest woman in the GNW, and representing also, representing the ministry right here, the only woman to actually have a title in the ministry in GNW, in which apparently it's Tiffany Rogers, the craziest woman that we've ever seen here in GNW. There she is, folks. And with this matchup, Tiffany has nothing to lose here because 
she said that she's been playing with the mind games to Shannon Gomez lately and that was only for a good cause to so make sure that she doesn't even get that uh, opportunity to get the title back inside of the steel cage which is why she led to this matchup and with the same time Tiffany right here she's been wanting to get her hands on Shannon Gomez because after a bit of a back and forth mind games Ch Shannon I believe caused the distraction tried to make uh, Tiffany lose her matchup in her and Piper Gibson not that long gone shockwave and now after that she's been wanting the opportunity that she wanted she wanted to get her hands on her for quite some time and there it is folks that's the title that's up for grabs right here now let's get to the introductions There, there a bit of a mixture reaction for both women right here, but I think the favor was to Tiffany Rogers right here. So yeah, they're trying to hold back. And ever since Tiffany Rogers, she's been able to hold on to the championship ever since the GNW season one finale of Adrenaline. And now the title is being held, the cage is being lowered. Right now, as soon as the spell starts, there's no getting back out of this. This matchup is on the way. The only way to win is either by pinfall or submission or escape in the cage. And now these two are just going at it right here. Huge kick into the back of Shannon Gomez. And now it looks like Tiffany is already starting to climb up the cage. Already at the start right here. And no, apparently it looks like it's not enough to get in there because... Oh, and there goes Tiffany onto the mat. On the eight. And now, t and now Shana's going to do the same thing too. I think this is just a normal climbing match right here. This is just the climb out of the cage right here. Owen just knocking down both women right here. And now Tiffany throwing Shannon Gomez into the apron horn. In the apron. And a huge strong Irish whip right there. And now, with Shannon trying to get back in right here, huge Russian leg sweep connecting. And now, and now huge forearm connecting, tossing Tiffany Rogers to the side right there. And now what's Shannon thinking right here as she's scaling to the corner right there. I think she's going for a climb right here. I think she's going for a climb right here, but no, it looks like looks like Tiffany's trying to make sure that doesn't happen right here. Oh, wait a minute, what's going on right here? What's she doing? Ooh, and huge electric chair driver right there. Huge electric chair connecting. By Tiffany Rogers. And now Tiffany trying to get back in right here. Oh, and a huge Irish whip into the steel cage. And now... Gomez trying to get back in right here. And Shannon, huge suplex connecting. And now, going for a huge scoop saying no, Tiffany's able to reverse. And a huge back suplex connecting right here. And now Tiffany Rogers going for the climb right here. Trying to climb out of the cage right here. I think she's trying to find her footstep right here. Trying to find the footing right there. No, Shannon Gomez back up. Shannon's back up and a huge drop right there. And now Shannon is going for the climb right now. We've seen champions head into matches maybe a little too confident. And now we Tiffany Rogers trying to get back, trying to stay in it right here. These two women are giving their blood, sweat, and tears on this matchup right here. Wait a minute, what's Shannon even doing? She didn't even want to finish it up. I think she just decided to 
finish Tiffany off, but apparently it looked like it was a bad move right there. As now Tiffany, huge. Oh, I think she tried to go for a form, but apparently missed. And now, and now Shannon, what's she going? Looks like a huge power bomb, and it connects. Huge Gomez bomb. A huge how bomb by go by Shannon Gomez huge knee right there into the skull of Tiffany Rogers this is chaotic right here and now the Gomez Plex connecting and now Tiffany Rogers getting back up wait a minute Tiffany going for a pin right now shorts it down one and two and no Tiffany Rogers able to kick out this is KI right here. She got her with a reversal. You gotta believe this one's over. We're looking at complete domination here. As Byron was talking earlier about the champ being a heavy favorite here tonight, I couldn't help it. And now tonight Santino Morella defeated Omaga for the Intercontinental Championship in 2007. I don't think she might have it. Boom, what is that? Incredible. And now going for the pin on Tiffany Rogers. One, two, and no. Just going for that huge slam into the back. And now Gomez go and now Rogers going for that huge face plan right there. Going for the pin right now. One, two, and apparently Tiffany Rogers is going to retain. Huge momentum that we just saw, but in the end, the women's champion is G. It, and but now, Jan Gomez is the still the GNW women's championship. Is still GNW women's champion. Huge matchup that we just witnessed between these two. But in the end, Tiffany Rogers is able to retain that internet title. And now up next, folks, like I said in the pre- I don't know if you folks heard in the pre-show, but apparently in the pre-show, the sergeants have wanted an open challenge to... If, where was I? Oh yeah, I'm sorry about that, folks. I was trying to get my train of thought right here, but both Sergeant Joy and, Sar and Sergeant Minor have been issuing an open challenge, have issued an open challenge during the pre-show, but apparently to a, a random team into the back, and now. And but apparently now now with both Sergeant Jordan and Sergeant Minor they are gonna be able to issue they are issuing an open challenge to any tag team in the back in GNW and with that we don't even know who the heck is gonna oh we're not we don't even know who's gonna be answering the challenge we don't even know who the heck uh is gonna be challenging them but apparently like I said Sergeant Joy and Sergeant Minor issued a noble challenge to a random tag team and now And now, with that, we get into the matchup. As like I said, I think they're both coming out. Out. I think they're both coming out separately right here. But now, it's Sergeant Jordan making his way out here first. Introducing first from New York, 
Weighing in at 230 pounds, Sergeant Jordan. There he is, Sergeant Jordan right here. One of the combatants in the matchup right here. And now here comes his tag team partner, Sergeant Minor. And his partner from New York, weighing in at 250 pounds, Sergeant Minor. I think I have to fix the entrance uh, off camera right here at the same time. Let's see on who's gonna be issuing, who's gonna be answering their open challenge. Hang on, hang on, folks. I think I recognize that music. Hang on, folks. Oh my gosh, folks. This man right here is a legend in GNW. That man right there is Alex Morrison, a former Aerocontinental Champion, a former Tag Team Champion. This man right here, and I don't think he's here alone. He is not here alone. We got another GNW legend here. That is Chris Coleman. These two have redefined the history of JNW in the past before this whole thing started. These two are one of the greatest superstars here in JNW. You see right there, Alex Morrison by the ropes right there. He is, a, like I said, he's a former Continental and World Champion. He's a former Tag Team Champion. But with Chris Coleman, he is a former... Intercontinental, he's a former three time intercontinental champion and a former tag team champion and a former Rumble winner, also. And I guess, and these two, if I can remember correctly, if I'm looking back at the record books, those two were former rifles, and now uh, they were former rifles for the intercontinental title, and now they're teaming up together. Welcome back Alex Morrison and Chris Coleman. They are accepting the challenge and now Sergeant Jordan to do a bit of work right here And now Jordan Sergeant Jordan right here throwing Morrison into the corner It's great to see some originals Back here in GNW. And now Morrison trying to get back at right here. Morrison right now making the tag to Chris Coleman. And Coleman, he's a former, and like I said, he's a former, he's a former three-time Intercontinental Champion and Tag Team Champion, and a former Rumble winner. But with this man right here, looks like he's been having a bit of an upgrade because last time I saw him, he had like no tattoos, and if I can remember, he had like a mask on his face. But apparently now he's not afraid to. He's not afraid to show his face without that mask right there. But now it looks like, ooh, and it looks like he looks like they're working on the leg right here, and they're just choking the living heck out of them. And C Minor is just saying that they had this plan out all along. And with Alex Morrison, he's looked the same. He's looking the same. And now Coleman picking up Jordan mid reverse right here. Trying to crawl to get to the hot tag. And now Sarge Jordan trying to make sure that nobody makes the tag. He's been on a roll lately without... Wait a minute. Coleman, going for the huge Tiger Bomb connecting. 
And a huge Coleman. Like the huge Coleman bomb right there. And now what could Alex Morrison think right here? Oh, and a huge arm and right there. Working on the arm and a huge knee. And now picking up Morrison, Jordan, and a huge uppercut by Alex Morrison. You snap suplex. Morrison, he's looking the same like always. That arrogance look on his face, that huge, no, back down attitude right here. And another huge, oh, and going for that huge Tiger Bomb, that huge Tiger Bomb backbreaker right there. And what could Coleman be thinking right here? You and just drop him down on the mat. Tony to the GNW crowd that they're back. And nobody's going to stop him. Well, they do. Well, they. Well, the. The Sergeant Jordan and Sergeant Minor actually are able to capture the win over here. I think we be we are being able to see what happens here. And what's Jordan thinking right here? He's telling Coleman to get up, but what's he even thinking right here? What's he even thinking? Huge elbow connecting. From the top turnbuckle to the outside. And now Coleman trying to get back up. Oh, and Jordan making sure not to get the tag. He's right into the back. And now huge kicks and a huge forearm. And now throwing Coleman into the corner. And a huge elbow. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, and a huge, huge. Backbreaker connected right there. Oh, now just dragging Sergeant Jordan to the outside. Now, what's he? What's Coleman thinking? Huge suplex connecting. And now, making the tag to Alex Morrison. As Morrison right here, he's been in the GNW family for a couple of years before this whole thing started until he left the company while I was having the plans made up. And now just talking to the GNW crowd, showing what the if they remember him and all that. Huge drop kick connecting. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. And now, oh, and a huge brain buster on the knee connecting. And what's good, Sergeant Jordan, and Sergeant Jordan might be thinking about the same situation that Coleman did to him not that long ago with that huge possum play right there in the reverse to the elbow. Hang on. Oh, and a huge knockdown right there. Huge knockdown right there. Now referee Coleman's getting trying to wind to get back in the ring, but apparently not. Apparently it was Coleman you think of right here. Coleman Oh wait apparently Coleman they even want this referee to go for the pin, but now Coleman oh and he just took down the referee. And now knocking down Sergeant Minor. And now what's Morrison thinking right here? Morrison, he's going for an end right here. Going for the huge. Looks like he's going for that huge Morrison planner right there. That Morse code planner right there. Going for the pin. One, two, and welcome back, Coleman and Morrison. Welcome back, Chris Coleman and Alex Morrison.
And they're back. And better than ever. Welcome back, Chris Coleman and Alex Morrison. Looked like it was in bed the sergeant's hands, but in the end, it was, but in the end, Coleman and Morrison got back up with the victory, and they got the win. Okay, to be honest, I had to do that so that Jordan, Sergeant Joy would be into the stop running and all that. But at the same time, it is now time for our main event of the evening, and it's, uh, and it's now Alex Bishop. Going up against Sean Navy C. McCarthy for that coveted GNW World Title in a no holds barred match. This matchup has been hyped up ever since McCarthy won the opportunity to face Bishop for that coveted GNW World Title a couple months ago. And now it's come down to this. These two had a bit of an altercation. With backstage at Vegas not that long ago, but now with Bishop knocking out McCarthy, trying, maybe McCarthy might be able to get some retribution because, like I said, these two have been playing back and forth, been going back and forth with each other ever since Vegas. But now it's time for the big one, folks. Our main event of the evening of GNW Over the Limit. And like I said, folks, this is for the World Heavyweight Championship. And here comes the challenger, Sean Navy Seal McCarthy. This man has been wanting that title shot for a long time. And this man is going to get that title shot here tonight. This man has been wanting to get his hands on Alex Bishop. For a long time. And this is going to be his night. To get Bishop back. On the torment. The mind games. The distractions. That he's been having. With Bishop. Here on GNW. This is one matchup. GNW has been wanting. And have been waiting. To see here. And now, it now is time for the big one. And now we await for our world champion. And speaking of which, here he comes, folks. There he is, folks. The most dominant GNW World Heavyweight Champion ever since Dan Riley. Alex Bishop. This man has been on the dominant role ever since he won the title at the season 2 premiere, which was the Royal Rumble. And which, like I said, after this event will be the season finale, which will be, which, well, it could be the final pay-per-view of this season, which will be WrestleFest. And like I said... The winner of this matchup will go on to WrestleFest to face the Rumble winner, Elijah Rogers. So either McCarthy or Bishop will get a one-shot opportunity before one of these two meets Elijah Rogers. But let's not waste any time. Let's go to introdu let's go to introductions. So you can see right there, no holds bar match. For that coming in world title, let's get to the introductions. Introducing the champion from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 252 pounds, 
He is the Global National Wrestling World Champion, the Rebel Alex Bishop. And that right there is what it's all about, folks. Like I said, no holds barred. One fall to the finish. This matchup right here is going to be one crazy one because these two have been wanting to get their hands on each other for a long time. See right here. Both men are ready. Both men know what's at stake right here. And the matchup is underway. Bishop around with a huge jump breaker right there. And now, Bishop just staring down into the eyes of Sean McCarthy. And like I said, you gotta know that Elijah Roger is watching this matchup in the back or at home because, like I said, the winner of this matchup will go on to WrestleFest and face Elijah Rogers for that GNW World Championship. Like I said, this is one matchup that you do not want to miss, folks. But at the same time, you gotta wonder if Jose Sergio is actually watching this matchup. Because with Sergio, he has that money in the bank briefcase. He can cash in at any time. It could be an episode on Adrenaline, it could be an episode on Shockwave. Or it could be tonight right here. Oh, and a huge suplex! By McCarthy to Bishop onto the steps. McCarthy just throwing Bishop around the around the arena ring right here. Both men are fighting on the ring outside right here. Both men are just battling back and forth right here. And now both men are wondering what's at stake. Both men know what's at stake right here. And now Bishop, what's he thinking right here? We're looking at the arm, what's he thinking? Oh, he's just stomping on his hands. He's just stomping on the wrist and the hand right there of Sean McCarthy. And now Bishop taunting to the GNW crowd. Telling them that they better get see, they better get used to him, and one count and a one count is connected right here, and now huge clothesline connecting. Huge clothesline was connected right there, and now McCarthy just taunting the GNW crowd right here, and a huge foot stomp into the skull of. Bishop, now McCarthy hyping up the GNW crowd right here in Florence, Italy. There may be no stopping him. Now work on the head of McCarthy right here. I mean, work on the head right here. And now McCarthy is just trying to make sure. That Bishop doesn't get the opportunity, and I think I just stand corrected. Bishop is back up. Bishop with a huge DDT, and I think that's already busted open McCarthy. That huge DDT can bust open McCarthy at any time, and a huge uppercut, and a huge fist, or something like that. Going for the pin. One, two, and no, Bishop is able to kick out. This is just one heck of a fight, and I think McCarthy is going to go for an early finish right here as McCarthy is going for the USA. Cutter right there. The American Cutter connected. Going for the pin right now. One, two, and no, Bishop able to kick out. This right here, this... Both of these men know what's at stake. McCarthy has been wanting to get his hands on Bishop for a long time. Bishop knows what's at stake. He knows that his world title is on the line. And now clobbering away. Huge forearms and strikes 
into the skull. And now a roll up right here. Oh, wait a minute. Huge foul bomb connecting, dropping. McCarthy onto the man right there. And Bishop, he could go for an end right here. What a huge Bishop driver. And he's got him on the arms. And the Bishop driver connects. Going for the pin on McCarthy right here. Referee going for one, two, and Bishop picks up the victory. Alex Bishop is still the GNW World Heavyweight Champion. We thought that was it with that huge American cutter by McCarthy, but apparently it wasn't enough to keep Bishop down. And apparently with Bishop right here, we he thought it was an end right here with that American cutter. But apparently it wasn't enough to keep Bishop down until after this huge power bomb right here, or this huge drop right here. Bishop, him right here with the huge Bishop drive, the huge Bishop driver right there. I think that just probably knocked out McCarthy right there. In the end, McCarthy came in strong, but in the end, Bishop retains as your GNW World Heavyweight Champion. So now we know, folks, we now know, folks, that it will be Alex Bishop at WrestleFest going one-on-one -on -one with the Rumble winner, Elijah Rogers, for that World Heavyweight Championship. But that right there is going to be it, folks. We want to thank everybody for watching. If you did enjoy this pay-per-view and you want to see more pay-per-views in the future, leave a like, comment down below, subscribe to the channel. Tap, and when you subscribe to that, and when you press that subscribe button, tap that notification bell so, they never, so that you never miss an upload when GNW appears here in GNW. Update the World Cup is coming to your screen soon. Shouts out to Ross Livingstone. And apparently, shouts out to PSN Psychosis HQ. Shouts out to everybody who watches the streams or watches my videos each and every day. You guys are the true MVPs. We'll catch you guys next time. Until then, this is Christian Tracy signing out. Until next time, folks. Bye-bye. Have a safe night.